hello everyone today i'm going to teach you one uh, very important concept in jasper reporting so this is related to how to create charts using jasper studio so let's start for this we are referring to jasper community knowledge base where we have uh, these things so mainly broadly what we are going to use here is we are going to use some query and let's the query is very simple so you can see here query so this is going to our query select count let me open notepad notepad this will be more safe than notepad plus plus forget this email so our query is select count star shipment city from the order and group by shipment city so this is a very common question that people want to know if they are in shipment business that how many how many order has been placed per city so and you want to see charts so let's let's do it we have jasper studio by new then new jasper report we will select anything we can select even a4 we can select we will go we can name this as a chart example and then we can go for next step and press enter then you are here we will remove page header and page footer So let's let me delete this then call and footer then this footer page footer let me remove summary band we need detail band let's delete because we just want to create one chart and we will create in uh, In summary band so I have taken this text field and in text field I'm gonna write the title so this like this it will appear by default it is written text field I will here write chart what bar chart example bar chart example you can you can put this title as per your requirement if you want you can increase the width and height of your title right now it is 10 let me make 16 if 16 is not good then you can go for 26 make it bold if you wanna place on center click this center alignment and now the major thing is that we are going for a chart so let's go for chart so since this is a community edition so we have only some charts HTML5 customized charts is not there so let's use this chart only uh, although the steps are going to be very similar whether you are making a chart or HTML5 chart steps are going to be same you need to select the chart if you are creating by bar chart then you have to select bar chart 
and then you have to select series you have to select value you have to select data set main data set you have selected but you remember we haven't created any data set we haven't put any queries in main data set for so for now we will click finish and we have our chart we can just resize this chart and for now you are not going to find anything so this is the first step don't worry we are going to get bug oh no we don't get bug but we do not get the chart so by default you are getting this if you haven't done any setup at all now let me show you so we will open data set data set query by default like we are going to open main data set now we will select database database simple sample database then query i have shown you this is the query we are going to use since this is not a sql class so i am not going in detail in what this query means once we will do sql then we will go through it so for now we have done now what we need to do is we need to read fields we got fields two fields now we are done we have done clicked on ok then we will go on edit chart edit wizard and then we can find this series so for series you need to select this you need to delete or you can select this series what is going to be the series so i think we are going we need to go for city city is going to be series and it is okay and value what is value value is going c1 is going to be value that count let's select count click ok categories category for now category is also going to be city let's finish it finish this and let's run it out and let's see what is what we are getting okay we got these things but we haven't got any count so let's try to debug so whenever these kind of thing happen you need to understand that there is a issue in wizard and there some issue has happened here only. so what we need to do we need to go for label we need label so let's let's just refer this so we need this for some reference so shipment value all chart we have selected chart then select the group data use the connection max so the max and okay this is for pie chart these are all for pie chart we are not going for pie chart we are going for bar chart okay then how to create create bar chart bar chart in jasper studio so if you have any confusion in that case you have to go for google 
and then you have to search it down and try to figure out the answer so creating chart and sub reports let's see what is there c1 same code are we on same page c bar chart is there so titles bar chart okay after bar chart we have to here we have to in series we have to select shipment city value we have to select f1 that is correct in category we need to select and here label city we have to select city okay so because of label i think we are not getting correct value so let's go for label label is going to be city and finish then finish click on finish and then enter let's see what we are going to get again we are not getting chart as per requirement we are not getting chart why we are not getting let's see so first of all let's go to main data set so if you are not getting values you are not getting report then in that case you have to just figure it out if you are getting data correctly or not so here what I will do uh, we have a query we have this preview data and then refresh preview data then in this case you are finding no you are getting values you are getting values you are getting city so data wise it's fine ideally you should get report but you are not getting so what could be the other reason so there is a reason but right now we are not able to figure it out what is the exact reason behind not getting this chart again we will go for same place wizard and try to figure it out go here shipment is there category category is blank series okay so here do we have series series we have we have city as a series is is this correct yeah shipment city label we have cities value we have c1 only value we have c1 only value is c1 nothing here i am not sure guys let's finish and then do and see what we are getting so we got this r report but aesthetically or visually you can see we are not getting a perfect report so i have done after a long time this particular report that's why you are finding me that i am facing some issues so this is a main setting series we have to type like shipment cities in place of this city so all the cities will come below and the count of shipment c1 f dot c1 is going to see level you know level if you don't want label then label also you can remove label you can put as a blank and then you can finish and if in this case if you run then observe the output you are going to get a, a similar kind of output 
okay but what i want i want little bit more so let's increase the height of these faces and increase the height of this chart i think width also we need more width so go for base and we will increase width width of base what should be i think 1095 will be fine for width and i will increase the width and now if i am going to click i think now you are going to be much more uh, visually appealing chart so based on number of values so we are not getting series so let's let's do one thing we will edit it and add here we will add label as a cd and then we will see what is the difference in chart so let's see guys now we are getting okay we are getting no difference uh, just because of size we are not getting anything or there is some other reason let me figure it out and increase the size because whatever right now we have is not sufficient for these so we will go for page width we will make this as a 2000 make it 2000 and this width also 2000 and then we will click and preview let's see now how how easily appealing we are getting so now you can find we are getting a long chart so once the point that you need to remember the point that you need to remember is that when you have number of cities more than 10 or 20 then you have to expand the chart so that the chart look more appealing more informations are there so you can see uh, more information you can see when once you have readjusted the charts you can increase furthermore but for now i am keeping like this only if you do want to explore something more then do comment below i am going to explore these things so thank you guys and bye hope you guys enjoyed this video bye